Good morning, everybody. Eddie DeBlock here from the Relic Extractors. Coming to you Sunday, October 31st, 2021. Halloween for all you pagans out there. No pun intended for you folks. Um, anyway, so I'm at the Epic Dump here this morning. It's about 7.30, quarter to 8. And I uh, haven't been here in almost two weeks. And this is my buddy John's hole that he was working on. Um, he couldn't make it. He's out in Connecticut helping uh, his girlfriend move her mother out of her house um jimbo couldn't make it either his back has flared up it's been acted up on him for a few days so he decided to stay home as well <clears throat> hopefully uh hunter from eastern outdoors will be with us a little bit later on today early this afternoon i'm going to try and stick around until he gets here uh andy should be here very shortly and um so i'm gonna get into cleaning this out here look you know like neither of us have been here in a couple of weeks almost almost two weeks and you can see where the all the rain that we've had just kind of washed this whole edge right in down into the hole here right there you can see where the dry stuff is up underneath and then this is still all wet so i'm gonna get to it clean it out make a little room in here and uh we'll see what we get and we'll get back at you when we find something. All right, guys. About 15, 20 minutes into cleaning out over here. So I just started shaving the edge. And I'm going to try and go up a little bit because it's kind of coming back towards my back side. And uh, first bottle. And we're going to see if we can pull it right here right now. Yeah, it should come out. I don't know what it is yet. Probably common. It's a Hinchliffe Brewing and Malting. It's the B&M Patterson. This one is a... Got the year on the base. Let's see. 1914 see right there common but uh on the board all right we'll get back at you on the next stay tuned all right guys just really taking my time today you know out of practice so to speak um so i'm kind of down to the bottom right in here and then right where this little kind of ledges right in here this uh jar rolled out um i kind of put my fork in it but it's obviously been cracked for a long time right there's a hole um it is a fruit jar not side embossed but base embossed this is going to be something that i'm going to have to look up later it says dunkley D-U-N-K-L-E-Y, patented September 20th of 98 and April 30th of 1901. Got a number six in the middle for probably the mold mark. Um, so, yeah, it's uh, something, like I said, I'll take home just to research it, obviously. Uh, it's too shot for me to fix i mean if it was just a hole and not all those cracks i might have uh been able to finagle something with it um but i got enough broken stuff at the house so uh i mean yeah i mean this could be rare it could be super rare i've never even heard of this one before so i'll have to look in the uh, red book or uh one of the other fruit jar books that i have and uh we'll see what we get out of it all right we'll get back at you at the next All right, guys, Eddie, the block back at you, and uh, I got a jug in the hole. It's probably hard to see right there, but I'm going to hand my phone off to Andy, and I'm going to chisel around it. He just showed up. He barely got started, and I pulled him away from his hole, so he's a little mad already. All right, All right. so I'm going to hand Andy the phone. He's going to try and uh, here we go. catch me live here. And get down here here we my, go. With my fork. 
and uh, let's see what we can get. And for those of you who forget what I look like, there I am, because you're always too busy seeing bottles and not my face. Show us the bottles. Yeah, I know my face is ugly. Your bottles are beautiful. <laughs> okay. All right. So, right in here, I'm gonna put the fork in it too. I was like, I, said, I don't know if it's broken or not, but it's like this is like pretty much the bottom of the hole here too. Some wire there. I think it's another piece of glass right there. It is. There's a bottle right there too. <coughs> it looks like it might be a hutch right there. All right, let's see if I can do this first. It seems, <coughs> even though it's bigger, it seems to be the easier one to, yeah, this little med just fell out. Ooh, I'm gonna have to fall down your hole here. <coughs> Kemp's balsam, common but nice. I'll tell you that up there for now. I was just telling Andy when he got here, reacting for a couple minutes, I said, it'd be nice if I dug a, crock or a jug today so I haven't dug one in a while and five stabs later here it is somebody was listening to me somebody's on my side today now I just hope it's not broken let's see Another. maybe that bottle is going to come out first a lot of clam shells and oyster shells down here in the middle there too That would have been on something else. And again, you never know. It looks like it could have been the handle, huh? Let's see. Just uh, a hinge lift. 1911, a little bit earlier than the other one. This morning. The bottom of the You're gonna run out of fucking film on this thing. I should be good for up to 15 minutes. Oh, okay. On there. This is all I get on film. I'll be happy. <laughs> There's the top. The top's on it. I just gotta see if the handle's on it. Oh. Thought it was going to be as big as the one that uh, Cloverdale got, but it's not. I know the handle was broken off and I want to break it too. But... Jeez. I still got that. My thumb is still jammed too, so it's hard to grab stuff. <laughs> it's been a nemesis the past couple of weeks. Move, What's that? You shouldn't even want to move. I know. What is it, like a three gallon? Yeah, maybe two. But, that tells me that the handle might be on it. It's not, I mean, it's not moving at all, you know? Mm hmm. Like maybe the handle's grabbed in the ground on the back side. There we go. Yeah, and the handle is broken. <laughs> Still, nice. There we go. I get that mill putt that uh, Eric hooked me up with. Then I'll make a handle. I'll drill a couple holes in that and put a wire in it. And yeah. Jugs a jug. Sweet. All right, man. All I got to do is hit that button and it'll pause. Same one. All right, guys. After the jug, yeah, I've got uh, pulled... Three more uh, pre-prohibition beers. Two more uh, Hinchliff Brewings, 1911, and the Aqua one in the middle is a Ballantine's Ale from uh, Newark. Probably around the same time period, 1910 and 1915, pre-prohibition beers. Um, common. So I had like a little pocket right down in there, and uh, I'm going to clean it out and keep moving on and see what we get. Stay tuned.
All right, guys. See a little bit of dust falling here off my hat. Um, I'm just getting ready to go out and take a break. And this right here is like a one of those enamel wear pots. And bottles have been falling out of it since I started cleaning it. But then this right here, that amber, it's got a recessed panel on it. I just can't quite reach it yet. And I'm thinking it might be a Payne's celery compound. So I'm going to take a quick break and then... Uh, We'll get down into it and we'll see what we got. Stay tuned.